I wanted to highlight this comment because it's a great comment. It's a person who is using AI well and validating what AI does. And the question is, hey, what are these AI agents? Are they going to be great or not so much? And my answer is, we'll see, um, but I'm a little concerned. And the reason why is because AI, for me, falls into two different camps. On one hand, there is the, the co-pilot type AI. And Copilot is a great name that Microsoft came up with for like GitHub Copilot and Microsoft Copilot. Um, but it's it's the concept of a Copilot where you are in charge, but you are allowing AI to help you. So when you're building a software application, for example, and you say, hey, how do I do data access to get data from a MySQL database into a C Sharp application? You probably know roughly what that code might look like. And so when AI comes back and says, here's the code, you can kind of validate it, make sure, you know what, that's not quite right, let's change this. And that's allowing your AI to be your help. And it can do some great things when you are in that position. And I would highly encourage you to learn how to use AI that way. But the other camp is where AI is in charge, where AI is the pilot where you were saying, hey, AI, you're in charge of doing this. You are in control. That's horrible because AI will confidently make mistakes and it will make some pretty bad ones. And the more power you give it, the worse it can get. So when I hear people say things like, hey, I asked AI for a training path, that's not a good idea because it will lead you mostly down the right path, but it's going to be off somewhere. And you don't know where that is because you can't validate. You're trying to learn and it's teaching you. So I don't give AI total control to make decisions over anything. But I use AI a lot to help me in my decision making and in my work. The difference is who's in charge.